I knew that this was coming. You knew that this was coming. Everybody knew that this was coming. So what is coming? I can hear some, uh, someone asking. Well, theory about Yukari, of course. Yes, the legendary gap hack is finally getting her own video. Or should I say video series? Because there's so much I want to talk about. Uh, so I decided to split this video into three shorter parts. The first one being about history around Yukari, second one being about her characteristics, and the final one being a, some sort of summary about her. Our goal here is to finally uncover some of her mysteries and get to know her as well as we possibly can. So let's find out who or what Yukari truly is. As I said in this first part, we'll go through everything that is known about her history. Also, without any further ado, let's take a deep breath and dive in. So the first thing we know is that Yukari is at least 1200 years old. So we can for now assume that she's roughly somewhere around 1400 1200 years old. The first time in history when Yukari appears is 1200 years ago. There's not much ab information about what happened during that time, but there are two mentionable things. The fact that she was seen by member of Heda family, maybe even Akiu in her earlier reincarnation, and was recorded in the Gensokyo Chronicle written by Heda family. And that her name wasn't Yukari back then. Her true name is never revealed, and it said that she chose the name Yukari Yakumo by herself. How old she was during that time is also unknown. The next occurrence that Yukari made in history was the Saigo Akashi incident about thousand years ago. Yukari became friends with Yuyuko back then when she was still alive and human. Soon Yuyuko committed suicide out of despair over her ability. After Yuyuko's death, her body was used to seal away Saigyo Akashi because it was draining the lives of many human beings. It is unknown who sealed the tree away, but all evidence points towards Yukari. You see, seal was said to be the border between life and death. The one who sealed away the tree quoted, My wish is that she'll never again reincarnate and never suffer pain again and Yukari happens to have a spell named Boundary of Life and Death. So it's pretty clear that it was Yukari who sealed that Yukai tree away. But there's one thing that caught my attention. Why would Yukari, a Yukai, seal away another Yukai tree? It's even said that her motive was that the tree was killing too many humans. Why would she help humans and seal away Yukai for them, and more specifically, how was she even able to do that? Yukai sealing away another Yukai. It really doesn't make sense to me, but we'll proceed. But keep in mind that sealing problem, because we'll come back to that eventually. The third occurrence of hers is also about thousand years ago, but it happened after the Saigo Akashi incident. It was the Lunar War. It is said that back then, Yukari gathered an army and tried to invade Lunar Capital and steal their source of power. But in the end, Lunarians forced Yukari and her army of Yukais to retreat back to Earth. After that, it has become clear that stealing Lunarian's source of power wasn't Yukari's true goal. And instead of that, her true goal was to give a Yukai a lesson to not start wars or conquests. However, after this, Yukari has considered Lunarians as her enemies for some obscure reason. But yet again, there's that Yukai versus Yukai thing. Yukari's goal once again wasn't trying to help Yukai, but rather punish or teach them. Yukari's actions have been really on Yukai like so far and it gets even more strange. Did you notice how this incident too happened about a thousand years ago? If that's the case, it would mean that Yukari had enough power back then to gather an army of Yukai. But that's where we hit the wall. You see, according to everything we know so far, during that time, Yukari would have been about 200 or 400 years old. Which means that it is impossible for her to have enough power to gather an army. Think about it. 
Yukai gained power through aging. Maybe the strongest Yukai when compared to its age is Pacholi, who is as powerful as she is, and she is currently somewhere about only 100 years old. Her powers are what they are only because she has studied magic for her entire life, but Yukari hasn't. Yukari really isn't that type of a Yukai who would study magic for her entire life, so it should be impossible for her to have so much power back then. Unless she is older, and I mean way older. I can't say for sure how old she should be to have that much power thousand years ago, but I'd say that she is unimaginably old. Oh, and also, it is worth to notify that there are only two characters beside Yukari who have had their own armies. Kanako Yasaka and Suwako Moriya. Those two are gods, so we are talking about serious amounts of power here. Since then, she started to create Gensokyo. About 500 years ago, the first boundary around Gensokyo was made by her. This boundary was the boundary of illusion and reality. It wasn't so literal as the current one around Gensokyo and allowed everyone to pass through it whenever they wanted. Only thing it actually did was that it offered a yukai a safe place to live in after humans started to forget about them and yukai started to fade away. In somewhere about 1890s, the actual unbreachable Hakure barrier was established by human priests and yukari, mostly by yukari. Since then, yukari started to aid Hakure family and live with everybody else within the borders of Gensokyo. It is stated by Rinosuke that Gensokyo's boundary would most likely collapse if it wasn't for Yukari, so we could assume that she is the one currently keeping it up and running. About 60 to 50 years ago, Yukari made a deal with Oni that they would leave the Yukai mountain and go to underground, where they would have their own realm. Yukari has been said to go and check on them from time to time, but it's currently Ran who does that. As many of you might remember from my past timeline theory videos, I do believe that this was or at least was close to the events of highly responsive to prayers. I'm not sure what exactly happened that led to the events of HRTP, but the point in time is perfect for that game to take place back then. The latest historical event in which Yukari was involved was the infamous M vampire incident from the 90s. It said that the vampire, most likely Remilia, was taken down by powerful yukai Yukari Akuma. After that, the devil's contract was settled in which the vampire would leave the humans of Gensokyo alone and in exchange yukais would give her humans from the outside world for food. This instead led to the establishment of the spell card rules, most likely done by Reimu or her mother. It is also referred that Yukari was also included in the creation of those rules. After that, it is revealed that Yukari most likely gaps humans into Gensokyo to become eaten by the vampire and other Yukai. So being spirited into Gensokyo doesn't seem to be too rare occurrence after all. From here on out, the events proceed normally as they do in the games and manga. So I think that there is no need to tell you what happened after that. So here was a quick look over about Yukari's history. The things we've learned so far are that Yukari is much older than we think and that her goals are very un yukai like The way she acts in those events is just really suspicious. This is the first time ever when I see a yukai thinking about humans and other yukai before acting. Think about it. She is the first one to ever do that, and currently the only one. Yeah, yeah, there's Byakuren, but she used to be human. And in the end, her actions are tied around herself and how she is still mourning for her brother. But for Yukari, she should have no reason to side with humans in any way. Heck, she even has no reason to help other yukai, so why does she do it? It's like she's aiding or helping both humans and yukai while keeping it secret. Why in the world does she do that? 
and more specifically how how is she always able to keep herself impartial no matter what well answer for that could be hidden into her characteristics so please stay tuned for the next episode about uncovering the truth behind you is just behind the corner